Welcome to this uh, webinar. And the theme today is tooling for leakage detection support in systems with, it, in systems with district needed areas. Uh, something about myself. My name is Denek Svitak, and I have almost 30 years experience uh, on water drainage asset management project and modeling. I started my career in Prague Waterworks at the position of uh, specialist and later uh, uh, deputy head of division of water supply uh, development. I spent there almost nine years uh, getting great experience uh, on establishing new technologies, including uh, uh, introduction of district needed areas and uh, technologies for uh, leakage uh, and non-revenue water reduction. Since uh, 2000, I work uh, uh, with the DHI uh, uh, in the office in Prague at position of business area manager for urban water. In DHI, I have uh, led uh, many projects on water supply optimization, modeling, and uh, uh, um, I would say augmentation, not only in Europe and, and the Czech Republic, but also in India, China, South Africa, uh, in Malawi, in uh, Australia, and etc. Et uh, I have been involved in several uh, uh, research projects, uh, uh, including uh, the water loss reduction projects. And a part of this was, was uh, developing a tool for uh, optimal leakage detection support, uh, which was developed finally with close cooperation with, uh, with uh, uh, some uh, experts from both utilities. So in my presentation, I would like to share my experience and discuss the most important features of such tools, which uh, were mostly appreciated by water utilities and which helped finally to successful leakage reduction. So regarding agenda, I will talk about principles of district needed area evaluation. Uh, I will mention software architecture and uh, data uh, Sorry, and uh, data acquisition. Uh, uh, there are many methods of district metered area evaluation. In my presentation, I will explain the basic method, which is uh, minimum night uh, evaluation. Uh, the most important functionality is to identify events and especially uh, new leaks. I will describe how the tool shall work with the uh, events and especially how shall support the event management. I will mention how important role could uh, have economical evaluation in leakage detection support. I will also talk about reporting, about alarming and uh, trend evaluation. In the end, I will mention some use cases. Uh, there are plenty examples showing that dividing network in distributed areas is the most efficient method of leakage evaluation and control. Uh, the right implementation of distributed areas and good evaluation of achieved data is a key for most effective reduction of leakages. Uh, the distributed area setup is usually implemented uh, gradually starting from several district needed areas uh, up to even hundreds of zones. So we have to take in account processing of really big data sometimes. Uh, the tool shall support uh, grouping of district needed areas in a spatial and operational hierarchy. So it goes from the logic of uh, uh, how the system is operated, how it's divided, but also it uh, allows you to get uh, the overview of the systems and uh, uh, summarizing of uh, the, the results and showing uh, the, the propagation of problems from uh, bottom to top. Uh, the picture in the in, uh, right bottom shows uh, an example uh, of grouping in uh, five superior areas which was implemented in, in one our project. So it means that the water utility has a system of district metered areas 
which are grouped in this superior area, uh, then it is grouped in some, uh, they call it entity, then it goes to the city, then it goes to the operational uh, area, and then it goes to the whole uh, water utility. So all the results can be observed in these levels. Regarding software architecture and data acquisition, so the common approach having uh, the client server architecture, so it means uh, that you have a central uh, server and data repository and all the uh, analysis are, out, are automatically run at this server. The, the most important data input is uh, SCADA measurement but also it's very good to have uh, option to implement measurement from temporal uh, devices, especially like uh, uh, ultrasonic uh, measurements. Regarding uh, the data inputs uh, from other uh, water utility IT systems, the typical is uh, input from customer information system, which we need to evaluate uh, non-revenue water but also uh, the typical integration is with the GIS data, sometimes with hydraulic model. Uh, also, it's very good to have an option to incorporate uh, results, especially events uh, from other leakage detection systems like acoustic uh, systems or uh, some other uh, methods like uh, data-driven methods to, to analyze uh, events in, in your system. The standard uh, user interface, and it is really important to have really good because it's uh, the, the front face of your, of, of your uh, uh, application is a web, uh, web client. Sometimes for, especially for administration of the project, there is available also desktop client. Quite often is discussed uh, a question whether it's good to have installation on cloud or on premise. So despite there are many advantages of uh, the cloud installation for many water utilities is data hosting quite sensitive a issue and on premise is the only option for them. So uh, in my opinion, opinion, the right answer is uh, uh, to have both option is, is the right approach. Uh, the leakage evaluation from night, in, night inflows is based of, of, on calculation of district, district metered area demand time series which goes from uh, theoretically unlimited number of sensors and then uh, leakage is derived from night minimum using assessment of night consumption of standard co consumers uh, in some district metered areas, it's important to assess uh, or measure bulk cust customer's consumption. Also, sometimes it is important to take into account the pressure factor. Uh, the operators are then provided by daily evaluation of uh, uh, leakage and many technical performance indicators. Later, I will mention also importance of evaluation of economical performance in, uh, uh, indicators. So for selected parameters, uh, shall the tool allow uh, setting an individual limits uh, for each district metered area and the tool shall automatically recognize and report exceeding of such limits. Uh, regarding automation, the most important is identification of new leaks and other events. And the tool shall provide very good overview of all the events which are identified uh, about the status of the event in, in a workflow. And also it shall provide very detailed information about the events. So it means uh, uh, analyzing uh, the, the the situation, the data, which uh, uh, led to the indication of the event, which you can see in this graph. So maybe I will use pointer. So in this graph, 
also uh, the situation regarding the economical evaluation, which is in this graph, providing all the current information about uh, the, the, the district, so including all the performance indicators and other parameters, and also uh, the, the information about event itself, which is visible here. Another um, say automation is automate evaluation of uh, sensor failures. Again, uh, must be well identified and visualized uh, both in overview and detail. Uh, the event management shall support the standard leakage event processing. And uh, this could be very individual in each water utility and the tool must support the individual workflow uh, for process definition. So in here, you can see very simple one, but uh, it could be quite complicated one workflow. So it means what happened if we have a new event and how it is processed in, in uh, some water utility uh, organization. So the tool shall show the status of each uh, event regarding this workflow and also it shall uh, provide some uh, trends uh, uh, or summarization of the overall status of, of this processing. We have very good experience with uh, an economical evaluation method uh, uh, which we developed and which is used in this leakage detection support. Uh, it is used along, along with the uh, standard technical evaluation. This method is based on comparison of the cost of leakage reduction works, which in this graph are represented by blue columns. And uh, this, this cost is compared uh, with the uh, uh, water, uh, with the cost of leaking, uh, or with the marginal cost of water, which can be saved by leakage detection uh, and uh, in each district metered area. In here, in this graph, it is represented by green columns. So it means what I can achieve uh, financially if I go to the district metered area and repair, find and repair all the leaks or not all, but leaks which can be repaired. Uh, this method uh, calculates uh, the economical level of leakage, payback period, uh, payback period index. Uh, the payback period index is uh, represented here in this uh, graph by uh, red column and shows uh, the priority of district metered area from economical point of view. The, finally, this method is used to provide economically based leakage uh, detection planning where uh, could be achieved the highest uh, leakage savings with uh, the lowest effort. Non-revenue water is evaluated from comparison of inflow and invoiced water in district metered areas. Uh, uh, so therefore we need to compare uh, data from SCADA system for measurement of inflow in, in uh, the district metered area with uh, the customer information system data. Uh, so in order to compare them, uh, customer information system, we have in some long uh, time step uh, evaluated usually uh, one month, so one quarter, one year. So we have to be able to evaluate the online inputs also in such time step and then compare these two inputs and calculate uh, non-revenue water results. Reporting. Reporting is very important part of software functionality. Each, wood, each uh, water utility has its own requirements. Therefore, the tool shall provide an environment for individual definition of the reports. It means the data source in the database, uh, filtering rules, uh, additional processing and calculation, etc. Uh, the reports shall be automatically created and saved in the tool repository 
and we usually need different reports which are created daily, monthly, annually. Downloading the report shall be very easy and usually through the tool interface. From user interface shall be also possible to call on-demand creation of reports from some pre-prepared uh, templates. Uh, the common approach is to provide alarms on selected events by email messages. Uh, however, the requirements for alarming are again very individual. Uh, therefore, the tool shall allow advanced filtering by district metered areas, by district metered areas groups, uh, by event type, by event value, etc. It shall allow definition of uh, the alarm header and body where you can write whatever uh, from composite from the text but also from from the values from the database and the selected alarm shall be addressed to the appropriate receivers in, and their groups Uh, very important to get an overview about uh, uh, your long-term performance are trends. So it is important to see a long-term performance of the system and uh, the, the processes of the leakage detection management. So it means how uh, the, the operators are able to, to let's say solve leakages, uh, how long the work for, uh, the, the workflow on events uh, is, uh, uh, is getting. So usually what we get in trends is uh, some like, like performance of the system. The example here shows the hidden leak count. So how many new leaks are uh, appear in, in your system. Also, it's uh, important to evaluate uh, uh, some measurement quality data inputs. So it means how many uh, sensor fails you have in, in, in the system in, in, a, in a month. Uh, it also, it's uh, important to show, for example, uh, what's the level of exceeded limits in overall, I would say, evaluation. So the examples of uh, the features uh, in here uh, were shown in on, on uh, several projects uh, and I will try to show you uh, some use cases. Uh, the, the use cases are based on implementation of the tool, uh, leakage monitor, also all the examples here, uh, of most of the pictures uh, went from uh, the real tool, which calls leakage monitor. So the first use case is uh, Prague. It is a capital of the Czech Republic uh, with uh, more than 1 million inhabitants. Uh, we started the implementation in 2014 or was implemented, the tool was implemented in 2014. That time, uh, the system was divided in 180 district metered areas uh, with more than 300 sensors. Uh, this graph shows uh, the system inflow and water loss. Uh, so in 2000, uh, so before implementation of leakage monitor, they had about 20% of uh, uh, water loss. Uh, today, this the last year, they had something under 13%. Uh, big implementation is in North Moravian, uh, waterworks SMVAC, uh, where they have uh, more than 700 district, district metered areas. Uh, together with the superior areas, they have more than 100 zones, uh, evaluating more uh, 100, 1000 zones and evaluating more, more than 1000 sensors. And their leakage level is about 16%. 
the graph here shows uh, uh, long-term evaluation of leakage uh, in Ustí nad Labem, a city with more than 100,000 inhabitants. We started at the overall leakage level, which is represented by the green line, uh, uh, at the level of more than 110 liters per second. Then uh, was uh, uh, some monitoring campaign and uh, for fast leakage reduction, and we succeeded to reduce quite fast by uh, 30 liters per second. And uh, you can see the trend, uh, how they, which they uh, achieved by using leakage monitor. Quite important uh, was uh, the situation which is before the period which is uh, shown in this graph. And uh, it was that two years ago, this point, we were in very similar situation. And we, again, we, we, we uh, run this uh, measurement campaign and uh, for fast leakage reduction with very similar uh, results. But after two years without leakage monitoring uh, or without the supporting tool, we were at the same uh, position. So with a supporting tool, they went down even with, uh, with the, the overall leakage. Okay, so the conclusions, in my conclusions, I would like to sum up the most appreciated features which I presented here. And uh, so I think that the basic today is uh, capability to work with big data because uh, in most uh, and especially larger water utility, it is, it is the case for even now you have uh, not many district metered areas uh, to evaluate in the future you will have. Uh, it is necessary to consider real input data quality. Therefore, the tool shall support data validation, uh, pre-processing uh, and maintain the measurement dysfunctions. Uh, the basic method uh, of, the, uh, of the minimum night influ uh, evaluation is uh, mostly sufficient for, for uh, let's say, starting with uh, a leakage detection support. Uh, the tool, however, shall have a, uh, an option to, to integrate with other methods. Uh, Regarding prioritization of uh, district metered area detection action, sorry, uh, I show that uh, using an economical evaluation along, along, along with the technical evaluation is quite good to, to use. And uh, it can uh, lead to uh, planning, uh, of uh, leakage detection actions to achieve the highest water savings under the minimal effort. Uh, the event management can be very individual in water utilities. Therefore, it's necessary to have option to define this workflow. Uh, I discussed also the importance of uh, implementing of some hierarchy of superior zones and summarizing of results in in this uh, in these superior zones. The reporting uh, shall be user defined. Uh, it uh, shall allow automate reports as well as on, as well on demand reports, uh, and reports shall be easy accessible. Uh, reg regarding alarming, uh, it's important to have a detailed setup to avoid ne negligible or misleading alarms. And uh, I also uh, discussed uh, the importance of trends to show the overall system performance, uh, measurement quality, leakage detection, efficiency, etc. in some long-term period. So, it's all from my presentation. Thank you for your attention. I very much appreciated your attendance at this webinar about tooling for leakage 
detection support with system, in systems with distributed areas. So if you have any questions uh, uh, so, or require some further information, do not hesitate to ask me now, or you can reach me also uh, on my email address uh, and uh, I will be happy to assist you in your inquiries. So thank you. Thank you, Zednek. If we just wait for um, a minute or so and see if anybody types in the questions, sometimes it takes a bit of time to type them in. Uh, I can see some problem in my screen here. So have you seen also the movement of uh, uh, the of the slides in the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we saw okay, the slides till the right. end. So can but, you see now? Thank you for your attention. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, good. That, yeah. Because in my case, it is somehow stuck. Okay, so we don't seem to have any questions online, but I'm sure um, people will be want to ask you some questions offline. So you have your email there. So uh, uh -huh. hopefully people can, can send to you. Oh, somebody, Yuri has sent a question. Okay, so now several. Okay, so you mentioned economic evaluation. Is it integrated in leakage monitor? Yes, it is. It is. Uh, we had some research project on uh, this method, and uh, uh, it was, uh, I would say, prepared, uh, published, and uh, finally integrated in leakage monitor. Uh, the next, can you compare uh, minimum night flow to customer? consumption on an hourly basis during the uh, night period each day. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so uh, this uh, Night minimum flow evaluation is done every night. Uh, uh, so, uh, regarding the co consumer consumption, we use usually uh, some calculation uh, figures uh, to to get this uh, figure. And uh, uh, however, uh, the leakage monitor is also ready to to incorporate. Uh, uh, so-called smart metering. So it means that uh, uh, we are ready to obtain data from uh, water meters uh, to get the uh, online comparison of inflow and uh, uh, water uh, consumption. And uh, yes, uh, we are able to compare on hourly basis. You mentioned about marginal cost of water. How did you calculate it and how much it was? Uh, yeah, marginal cost of water is usually is representing uh, uh, the operational cost of water. So usually it is uh, the full production water cost uh, plus uh, uh, transport represented by energy for pumping. So in my country, most of water utilities focus this uh, calculation and they have this, this figure. However, in this economic evaluation, we are also considering other fact factors like uh, uh, how fast uh, leakages are uh, uh, back in, in the system after you repair it. So just logically, if you have a, a system where you repair all leakages and for two years, uh, uh, the, the system is stable without leakages, uh, uh, and you have another situation where after repar reparation of leakages, uh, uh, you have uh, the leak back after one month. So also you feel that economically it, uh, uh, it is not comparable. So it must be also 
considered uh, in the economical evaluation. So uh, the economical evaluation is uh, based on some, I would say, a bit more advanced uh, uh, logic. Do you have connection with GIS uh, database and integration of leak points, uh, burst frequencies in some analysis? The leakage monitor tool itself is uh, to evaluate uh, district metered areas uh, and uh, inflows. It doesn't go uh, in into uh, the uh, district metered areas to pinpoint leaks. However, we have another uh, tool which calls uh, uh, leak locator tool, uh, which is based on comparison of uh, measurement data and uh, and modeling. In, in the system and based on this uh, on the uh, simulated and measured data uh, it allows to uh, evaluate uh, the, the, the location of leakages. Uh, regarding uh, burst frequencies, again leakage monitor doesn't uh, uh, is not I would say focusing this topic. We have another tool which calls uh, uh, reconstruction planning and in here we work with burst frequencies uh, in order to plan uh, the maintenance and the reconstruction of uh, uh, asset. Okay that seems um, seems to be all the questions in Nick so um, mm -hmm. thank you very much for your uh, presentation and as you've said your email is there if people want to email you with um, offline questions so thank you very okay. much. Thank you also to you and all for your atten attention.